Hey everyone, welcome back. I have my mounts to share with you this week, so I'm just going to get right into it and show you what I mounted and tell you my experience with it. I'll start with um, some candles from the keeping room here. Ultimate Serendipity is the first one. Really strong, super awesome throwing scent. I mean, if you love Serendipity and you can get your hands on this, try it. It is really strong, has a good throw, and it lasts quite a while so it's a really good one pistachio ice cream this one it's a little different to me like pistachio is normally such a strong scent and this one's really creamy probably from the ice cream but I don't get a whole lot of the pistachio um, but I don't know it has a good throw to it but it's not a strong pistachio scent as I I would like farmhouse treats my all-time favorite love from them from candles for the keep room I love this scent. It's just such a creamy, comforting, vanilla custard type scent. I love it. It's just a nice throw. And I just love the scent. <clears throat> On to the ones that I only want to like one of. This cup will just not stay. So we're just going to do the cup. How about that? From Lasting Scent Candles, this is Pink Berry Cream. And this one was pretty good. It, I'm not sure if it was a pink sugar it was definitely pink sugar. I had to sniff it again to remember. But it was pink sugar. You got the berry. And it was a little light. And I even put it in my bedroom. And that's a smaller room. So I thought it would be strong. But it was a little light for me. Pix Petals and Scents. This is Spiced Eggnog Latte. Really strong throwing tart. And I, it was not a very big tart. You got the eggnog. You got a lot of the coffee. It was just really strong. Nice cinnamon to it. Killer throw on it. It was awesome. From Tiffany Candles, this is Pistachio Pudding Cake. And this is an old one because it was hiding in my stash. Like, I seriously need to reorganize a little more. But, um, a good throw. Nice. And it was older, like I said. It was a good throw to it. Nice pistachio, custardy type scent. I like that one. From Sniff My Tarts, this is Lemon Cheesecake. And this had a good throw to it. Nice creamy lemon scent. I'm normally not like a huge fan of the cheesecake, but this was good and I liked it. So I may try some more cheesecake type blends, but um, really good. And it had a good throw to it and it lasted quite a bit. From Sensible Scents, this is Buttermilk Creek. And this was supposed to be like pancakey type scent, like a maple syrup pancake note. I didn't get that. I didn't really get much. I got a tiny bakery note from it. I was really disappointed in this because these aren't cheap if you guys have priced these. And um, it just wasn't that great for the money. So I think I'm going to stay away from them, which is a shame because I used to like their tarts. I don't know if that was just a bad batch or what, but I don't know. We'll see. From Up the Creek Sense, this is Glazed Lemon Cookies. This was awesome. You definitely got the lemon, you got the bakery cookie note, really good throw to it. I love Up the Creek. I really don't think I've ever had a bad one from them that I can remember, but really good. Long Cane Primitives, this is Grammy's Zucchini Bread. This is, I just love it. It's a little spicy, it's a good zucchini bread type scent. Great for blending if you blend, but I just throw it in and <laughs> melt it, but good scent on it. I liked it. From Rose Girls, this is Americana Bread can't remember what's all in here. I don't know if it's strawberry and like Nilla wafers and the bread, but I might be getting that mixed up. It's a nice berry kind of bread scent, but um, it's a good throw to it. Light to medium throw for me in my house. From Rose Girl's Berry Lovely Birthday Cake. I guess I have a berry theme going on this week, but um, yeah. Really good throw on it. Has an, it's just a nice berry scent, like creamy custardy berry type scent. The birthday cake makes it all creamy. Couple clams from Ashland. This is what's the scent on this? I can never find the scent on this one. Oh, it's right on the top. The Ocean Wave, and this one is really strong. I've been putting them in my restroom, my bathroom, and really nice outdoorsy ocean type scent. Clean, kind of reminds me of like dryer sheets, but it's really good. Has a really good throw on it. Food Network Vanilla Birthday Cake Frosting. This is the only one that I've gotten from Food Network that I think was a complete nut or dud. I didn't smell much on it. I tried one, tried two, no matter what warmer, and I just didn't get a throw from it. So that one was a bit disappointing. 
Bathing Garden Serendipity Cream Pie. Loved it. This was a lighter throw, but you definitely could smell it, especially if you put it in a lower watt in a smaller room. I think I used this in my bathrooms as well. Nice. You got the serendipity, and you got the creaminess, like, from the meringue. I'm not going to say I got a pie note, like a pie crust. Didn't get that, but it was a nice serendipity scent. <clears throat> Better Homes and Gardens Zesty Lemon Peppercorn. And I don't know why I like this, but I just do. It's a nice lemon and you definitely get that peppery, like that, I don't know, spicy peppercorn note in the background. But the lemon is subdued by the peppercorn and it's almost creamy-like. It's weird, but it works and I like it. I just can't explain it. It's just, it's a good scent. Rice spum, riced spum cake, yeah. Spiced rum cake. And this one is a couple years old, but it's still through good. Um, nice, strong bakery scent. Has some spice to it and they did all that yep candle one candle this week guys this is also from Ashland same person as same company as the melt got these from Michaels and if you catch them towards the end of a season which you know how stores are they push the season so crazily fast but if you can catch them I think they might do it every season I could be wrong I got like 20 candles because they were on sale for like a dollar 78 a piece and these, I would say, are equal size, if not pretty darn close, to Better Homes and Gardens Big Candle. And a dollar eighty-seven, I couldn't pass that up. This was a baked berry pie. I'm not gonna say I got a whole lot of scent through. I mean, I could smell it if I was on top of it. Um, it did soot a little bit, but not as bad as some other candles I have used. And um, if I put a jar topper on, I bet you it wouldn't soot. I guess I could try that. But a dollar seventy-eight a piece, if you can catch it at the end of the season. Awesome price. Melted really good. It didn't really have an issue. Just a slight little bit went melt on the side, but other than that, it was a good candle, especially the price. But, um, yeah, that's it, you guys. If you have any questions, please comment, and thanks for watching. I'll talk to you all later. Bye, everybody.